We all know that making movies is not cheap, let alone making a movie in space with a top actor such as Tom Cruise. So how exactly did a movie that does not yet have a title, script, or any major plot points as far as we know secure a $200 million production deal? Well, it probably helps that this first of its kind project is being backed by the likes of Elon Musk and NASA. Musk has reached his status in the seventh richest person in the world through his endeavors in aerospace technology and vehicle engineering with his company SpaceX and Tesla. Musk has been partnering with NASA since 2012 to send some of his rockets into outer space to visit the International Space Station and place satellites in orbit. Lately, Musk has been interested in more commercial ventures such as space tourism, so working on a movie filmed in space seems right up his alley. Curious how exactly Tom Cruise got Got Elon Musk and NASA to partner with him on a feature film shot in space? Want to know what's next for the project and what challenges the team might face in pre-production and production? Well, we have you covered. In this video, we are going to be taking an exclusive inside look at the $200 million movie that will be shot in space. Interact with us, subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any type of videos you would like to see on this channel. Thanks! In early May of this year, it came out that Tom Cruise was partnering with SpaceX, which is Elon Musk's aerospace manufacturer and space transportation service company, along with NASA to create the first movie shot in space. At first, the details about the movie were very sparse and all that people knew for certain was that the movie was not yet backed by any specific movie studio and it was not going to be part of the Mission Impossible movie franchise. NASA revealed that they would allow the movie to be filmed on the International Space Station and they hoped that the movie would inspire future generations of engineers, scientists, and astronauts. Elon Musk and SpaceX have stayed relatively quiet about the project with Musk giving mid-approval on Twitter when NASA announced their collaboration with Cruise. Later that month, it was revealed that Doug Lyman would be joining the project as the director. Lyman has directed great movies such as Mr. and Mrs. Smith, The Bourne Identity, Go, and Swingers. Lyman has also directed Tom Cruise before in the movies American Made and The Edge of Tomorrow. Cruise and Lyman have been collaborating together for a while and have bonded over the fact that they are both pilots and love adventure, which is probably why the two work together to come up with this idea as well. In addition to directing, Lyman would be writing the script and co-producing the movie with Cruise. The currently unnamed project is said to be an action-adventure movie shot either fully or partially in outer space. Although no information about the plot has been released, Tom Cruise seems like a great fit for this movie. Cruise has a lot of experience doing stunts and has made a point to do many of his own stunts, especially in the Mission Impossible movies. He's rode motorcycles, hung off an airplane, held his breath underwater for six minutes, and even scaled the world's tallest building just to make his movies as thrilling and action-packed as possible. Cruz has also shown interest in space in the past, as his passion projects called Luna Park, a movie about renegades stealing a power source from the moon, which he's working on with Lyman as well as Paramount Studios. However, Paramount is not involved in the project that will be shot in space. As of late July 2020, the movie's small team was able to secure a $200 million production deal with the studio Universal Pictures for this one-of-a-kind movie before it even has a script. Deadline reported that the pitch was made to Universal Pictures via Zoom call that included Tom Cruise, Doug Lyman, Christopher McQuarrie, and PJ Von Sandwich. It is thought that McQuarrie and Von Sandwich are being brought onto the project as story advisors and producers. McQuarrie has previously worked with Cruise as the writer and director on the Mission Impossible films. Van Sandwick has not directly worked with Cruise or Lyman before, but has produced a few movies and documentaries. While the $200 million budget is just an estimate, the average movie budgets usually range from $70 million to $150 million. It seems like a movie shot in space would need a significantly larger budget, but maybe Elon Musk will be providing the rockets himself so transportation won't be taken out of the budget. Budget. When SpaceX first expressed interest in space tourism, the company said a trip to outer space on a rocket would cost between $62 million and $90 million. If this is what it would cost for the movie crew, then just getting to the set would take a significant amount of the movie's budget. Besides wondering how much it would cost to film a movie in outer space, there are certainly some other questions and concerns that come to mind when considering what will go into making this movie.
The first is transporting and accommodating all of the cast and crew. Typically, spaceships only hold three people, although they've been known to carry up to seven or eight. The space station itself usually only fits six people. This may present a unique challenge for the production of the film. While independent filmmakers usually fare with a small crew, major films typically have at least 20 people on set if not many more. There needs to be people to take care of cinematography, audio, hair and makeup, lighting, set design, and craft services, not to mention the actors, directors, assistants, and producers. So will the movie have an extremely limited crew cast? Or will they communicate with some crew members via video chat? Additionally, will astronauts have to vacate the space station for the time that the movie is being filmed? Another issue with the movie is that the cast and crew will need to be trained to go into space. According to NASA, it could take up to two years for an astronaut to be fully ready to go into space. But before astronauts can even begin training, they must undergo physical and health examinations and an intense swimming test which includes swimming 75 meters in a flight suit and shoes and treading water for 10 minutes. Then, the trainees get scuba certified so that they can practice spacewalks underwater in their full spacesuits. Astronaut trainees also take lots of other classes, do realistic simulations of what spacecrafts are like, go through training to withstand various air pressures and altitudes, and use contraptions that allow them to experience anti-gravity. Some astronauts will even be trained to pilot the spacecraft they will be taking. While some of the movie's cast and crew may be more cut out for astronaut training, such as athletic Tom Cruise, it may be hard to find a full crew that will be able to undergo the training necessary to perform their job in space. As for the movie crew, they will also need to figure out how to operate their equipment in space. Due to having no gravity, objects and people on the space station will float away if not Velcro down. The space station also carries lots of electronics, machinery, and fans that make it hard to record good audio on board. While there have certainly been videos and even a short film and live broadcast filmed on the space station, it is going to be hard to film a high-quality feature-length movie on board the space station. Another issue the movie might face is time. Feature films are typically shot over three to four months. While filming the movie in space certainly cuts down on time sucks, such as traveling to various set locations, we have to wonder how long NASA is willing to give up the space station to the production of this movie. Also, will the cast and crew stay in the space station until all of the movie has been shot? Astronauts typically stay in the space station for about six months, so it could be possible, but the production of this movie could mess up the work that NASA has scheduled for a quarter of a year. It is likely that this movie will not be made for a long time. Most movies spend about 10 months to a year in the pre-production stage, but due to the intense training, meticulous planning, and difficult scouting for both crew and cast that will go into the pre-production stage will most likely take much longer than usual. We also have to consider the currently very busy schedules of Tom Cruise and Doug Lyman. Lyman is currently working on the post-production stages of the film Chaos Walking with actors Daisy Ridley, Tom Holland, Mads Mikkelsen, Cynthia Erivo, and Nick Jonas. Cruz has two movies, Top Gun, Maverick, which had its release date moved to December, and Mission Impossible 7, which had production postponed for a few months due to coronavirus. Despite all of the potential obstacles this ambitious cinematic project faces, it is too early in the process for anyone to determine if this movie will be a flop or a success. After all, the movie does not even have a full script yet and has not officially entered pre-production. As far as the budget, astronaut training, and many other constraints concerning the pre-production and production of the movie go, the cards do seem stacked against this future film. One thing is for certain though, when you shoot for the moon, or in this case the international space station, you're bound to land among the stars. So what do you think? Will this project end up falling off the map in a few months and be known as a crazy idea that never made it to fruition? Or could Tom Cruise, Elon Musk, and NASA make history by creating the first ever feature-length movie shot in space? Let us know your thoughts on this movie in the comments below.